Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogram.com. And today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics to love and hate at the same time, which is C++. I've got a long history in C++. I, those were, were back in the glory days of programming. That was some hard shit doing C++. Made you feel like a real, just bare metal programmer kind of miss those days. But uh, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be answering a question about the C++ developer future. But before I do, I wanna take a moment to thank the sponsor for this video, which is Hired.com. You can check them out by going to Hired.com forward slash simple programmer. You're gonna to wanna to use that link. I'll tell you why in a second. But Hired.com basically makes it so that you don't have to go through this whole rigmarole, uh, how do you like that word, rigmarole, <laughs> of Blasting out your resume to all these companies and customizing your cover letter and all this stuff and getting back responses and lowball offers and you know, all this stuff. Instead, you just fill out one application there. It's pretty thorough. You fill out your skills, your GitHub profile, all kinds of stuff there. And and it also is formatted nicely, which you know you put in your resume, beautiful resume into the stupid database systems on some of the HR departments and you're like, oh, it's missing the aesthetics. I love the aesthetics, okay? So anyway, what will happen is that Hired will match you up with with companies that are looking for software developers with your skill. In fact, those companies will search on the skills, they'll find you, it's a highly vetted system, so don't be offended if you don't get in there because they really take the try to take the top companies and the top developers and match them up. That's is you know, that's who it's intended for, but you might as well go, you might as well go to simple, or hire.com forward slash simple programmer and check it out. And if you use that link, if you do get a job through Hired, you'll get $2,000 instead of $1,000, which is, is pretty cool. That's a, a nice reward for, for getting a job, getting paid as well. So let's get into the question here. <clears throat> C++ developer future. Hi, I have just started to watch your videos. I like your advices. Cool, all right. I have uh, one question for you. I tried to solve it by myself, but I failed. All right, well, I, hopefully, now there's a lot of pressure here, but hopefully I won't fail. Here's the thing, I start to write a program to solve a particular problem, and I don't think about language, frameworks, and specialization in a particular technology like Java slash Hibernate slash Spring slash C Sharp slash ASP.NET, Java slash Android, and etc. I thought I could learn it as required through solving the problem. I'm also passionate about learning something new. Okay, so I think what he's saying there is that he, he doesn't really care about what technology he uses, he just wanted to learn something by solving the problem, sort of a a uh, more abstract approach to that. Okay, so he says, I learned C++ slash SDL six out of 10. I think that's his rating. Okay, so, and I have 1.5 years experience with it as an engineer in a university. Now I'm searching for a job and not at all C++ jobs looks so attractive and clear to me compared to C, our Java C Sharp mobile technology stack. Okay, so C Sharp, C++ jobs, not quite as attractive, okay. Um, What's he say here? Um, I simply can can't find my specialization in C plus There are more and more Java and C sharp on the service side, and desktop is dying. I'm I'm not seeing myself as a Unix expert or driver developer, which is more C area than C++. True, I'll give you that. I'm also familiar with a bit of mobile, Xamarin, Windows Store as a hobby. Now I am thinking between mastering C++ or switching to other stacks until it's not so late. Could you please help me with some advice? Should a person with some experience in C++ switch to other stacks or not? How to find a specialization which is right for myself? Thanks in advance. Okay, so, I'm going to talk about C++ again because this is this is a fun topic. So you know, just just to give a little caveat here because I, I always have to because you always get these people that get think that I'm just hating against C++ for no reason. I love C++. It was such a fun language to learn and to bash my head against walls with and to become an expert at it. And you had to become an expert at it. You couldn't be a mediocre C++ developer. You would just get your, your ass handed to you if you were a mediocre C++ developer. You had to study. I learned STL. I read Effective C++ like 15 times. It was wonderful and glorious, okay? But then C Sharp came along and I resisted it. I said, no. .NET framework, no C Sharp, no. I am a C++ developer and there's got to be something wrong with developing Windows applications and C Sharp and web applications. 
And then slowly, uh, little by little, as I was forced to work in some C-sharp code bases, I had to realize that all the hard stuff that I was doing in C++, I could do pretty easily in C-sharp. So I reluctantly switched and I pretty much didn't touch C++ again. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> that's kind of my story, all right? Now, like I said, I still, it was, it was the glory days. It was awesome to do C++ stuff, right? It was hard. It, it, if you know C++ and you're real good at it, everything else will seem easy by comparison. At least I think so, that's, that's what, what I found. But, but here's the thing. There, if you're not in a field that's specifically going to use C++ or maintaining an application that's using C++, it just doesn't make sense to invest here. I'm not saying that C++ is gonna disappear and that no one's going to be using C++. You can check out the video on how to learn C++ I did where I basically said don't learn C++, that's how to learn C++. But, but, but the thing is like, Again, I understand there will be C++ applications. It'll probably be being used for the next 50 years. I understand that, but it's not growing. It's not, and a lot of people say, well, game development, hardcore game development, they do C++. Yeah, sort of. I mean, look at Unity 3D though. Is, is Unity sort of taking over? It, it's sort of eating the gaming world, I think. I, I Every time I talk to a game developer, they're using Unity, right? So. Uh, I don't know, like I, I don't think that that's gonna be required. Plus you can develop games in C-sharp and JavaScript. Hell, I have taught courses on developing games in C-sharp and JavaScript. You can check out some of my Pluralsight courses where I have, have done that, right? And you can do some pretty, pretty fancy stuff there, right? So I really don't see C++ having much of a, a future. I, I guess what I would say is like, look at it where you're gonna be in five to 10 years, right? Yes, there's gonna be some code that you can maintain, but there's not gonna be a lot of new development there. There's not gonna be, I mean, you're not gonna see a lot of new tools and frameworks and, and things like that. That Those stuff are gonna be reserved for Elixir and the cool, whatever the cool shiny stuff is, a lot of JavaScript stuff, right? And C Sharp and Java, sort of have replaced C++ in the sort of enterprise development area, right? If you're developing a web application today, why would you use C++, why? It just doesn't make any sense at all, right? I'm not saying you can't do it, I'm just saying it doesn't make any sense. It's gonna be so much easier to use C Sharp or Java or Python or PHP, right? Those, those are gonna be much easier platforms or languages and platforms to use, or, or sorry, Ruby people, Ruby on Rails, right? That, that makes a lot more sense. So if you're gonna learn C++, then you need to have a really good reason. You need to say, okay, because I'm going into this field or this specialty, and this is what I wanna do, and this is why C++ is the answer for that. Now, I'm gonna rely on some of you that are watching this video, because I don't know the answer. You leave a comment below. If you know the place where C++ absolutely is the, the language of choice and it's growing, Leave a comment, because I want to know. I want to know those. I, I haven't been able to figure that out. I'm sure there are some, right? But it, there, there's, a lot, <laughs> there's a lot of places where C++ is dying. At least there's a lot more where it's dying than, it is, than there is where it's growing. So I wouldn't you know, specialize, again, in, in C++, unless I have a really good reason. And there's going to be, need to be some people that do that, but if you're on the fence on it, if you're not all gung-ho, I haps, absolutely have to become a C++ expert, then switch to something else, you know? Go with C Sharp, go with Java if you're, if you're building web applications or PHP or whatever it is that, that you like and, and you'll be fine. But don't, don't just think that you've gotta, you know. It's, it's sometimes also I think that you know, some of the, the old timers, or, or just some of the people that are glutton for punishment, they're like, well, I gotta learn C++ because that's the hard thing and that's the real programming. And I totally get that. But go ahead and learn it, but just don't make that your, your main thing, your specialty. Like, go and explore that world just so that you understand pointers and memory and, and some of the complex stuff, like dealing with multiple inheritance, <laughs> uh, if you want to, right? But maybe you could achieve some of that 
kind of the hardcore stuff by learning assembly or, or something like that or or building your own compiler or, or language or something like that maybe maybe c++ is not necessarily what you need to do in that case all right that's enough about c++ i don't see it as having a huge future not not, not a growing one at least right again if you're a c++ developer will you always have work yeah you're always going to have work because you're you're like the freaking battle scarred veteran you're you're hardcore people know that right you're going to find places for work but if you're new to the industry if you're becoming a software developer don't don't do it don't put yourself through the pain it's not worth it unless that's just what you love and you're going to specialize in that because you've got a specific reason to do it pick something else that's my opinion i'm sticking to it if you agree or disagree with me let me know leave a thumbs up if you're like yeah that's totally right on and uh <laughs> i'll talk to you next time oh hey don't forget also subscribe to the channel click that subscribe button i'll talk to you next time take care